The 3-0 win over Everton at Goodison Park on Sunday was Manchester United's best away win in the Eric Ten Hag era, which is a little ironic given the starting 11 on show featured a very heavy dose of nostalgia from the Ole Gunnar Solskjaer era. We saw Victor Lindelof and Harry Maguire taking centre stage together once again, something we haven't seen much of, if at all, under Eric Ten Hag in the Premier League. Then we had Scott McTominay stitching the midfield together behind an attack featuring Marcus Rashford and Anthony Martial. To give credit to Ten Hag, he has overseen the development and promotion of highly rated 18-year-old midfielder Kobe Mainu and propelled Alejandro Garnacho's career to the next level. But his stamp on the team has become less evident as he has taken his team back to basics this season. And after a shaky start, that approach has worked, garnering five wins out of six in the Premier League. The 3 0 win at Everton on Sunday was the best away win of the season, as well as the first statement away win of the Ten Hag era, but it came without a single Ten Hag signing starting outfield. This might be close to United's best team at the minute, but it's almost certainly not the team that their manager wants to pick. Both Harry Maguire and Scott McTominay could have left this summer, as we all know, while Mason Mount was supposed to be the final piece of the jigsaw in midfield. Ten Hag wanted his team to become more dominant in their play, but it unraveled early in the season, and although injuries haven't helped, he has been forced to retreat from the ideal to get results and points on the board. The question now is how he goes back to moving that team on. The win at Everton was gritty and determined, but you could argue it wasn't a team playing in the image of its manager. Although injuries remain a major issue for Ten Hag, when everyone is fit again, he might look to restore some of his signings to the team. But right now, it's arguable only two more would get in alongside Andre Onana in goal. If we include Sofian Amrabat, Ten Hag has signed 11 players across three transfer windows at a cost of more than £400 million. Some were signed to play bit part roles, such as backup goalkeeper Altai Bayendir, free agent Johnny Evans, and maybe you could say the same for Tiro Malassia, who is on the comeback trail after his serious knee injury. But there was an expectation he would challenge the excellent Luke Shaw, and that hasn't happened. Shaw is comfortably the better player. In the centre of defence, Lissandro Martinez would get back in the team ahead of Lindelof and alongside Harry Maguire at present, but the picture in midfield is complicated. Bruno Fernandes is undroppable, and Maynou's outstanding performance at Everton has put him in the frame for more appearances, with Scott McTominay starting seven of the last eight games in all competitions. Christian Eriksen has been showing some form of late, but Mason Mount has had a difficult start to life at Old Trafford and his route back into the team looks complicated given the emergence of Kobe Maynou. In attack, Rasmus Hoyland will return and likely take the place of Anthony Martial, despite the latter's goal at Goodison Park. But Anthony, the £85 million winger, will stay on the bench even if fit. The winger never looked like living up to the price tag and his influence on games has been minimal this season. Ten Hag has said a couple of weeks ago that Rashford would stay in the team despite his struggles for form. So finally having netted his second goal of the season, his place is secure. Ganacho has been playing well of late and after his majestic overhead kick on Sunday, something that I have watched time and time and time again, there is no way he can be dropped at the minute. So at the moment, if everyone was fit, it might only be uh, Martinez and Hoyland to join Onana in that starting eleven. If Bayandir and Evans were signed to be reserves, and you can make a case that Malassi and Eriksson were also deals to add strength to the team, it still leaves Casemiro, Mount, Amrabat and Anthony on the outside. The majority of these players would be in the team that Ten Hag wants to build at United, but for now, the approach to getting results might be leaving some of them out of favour. Let us know in the comments what you think about United's recent form, whether you agree or disagree with our assessment of the team and the season so far.